Welcome to another episode of Duck's Electronic Repair Bench. Afternoon, YouTube. Here with you on this sunny, very, very pleasant uh, Monday, Memorial Day, the, the official holiday. Um, I think Memorial Day is actually the 30th of May, which is tomorrow. Um, anyway, I uh, finished editing and uh, rendering the, well, it's not finished, but it's rendering now but the uh, meter and the label video that I did. I ended up making uh, two parts out of that because it was 35 minutes long and, and uh, that's just too long. So I think first part is like 15 minutes and then the second part is 18 minutes, something like that. Um, anyway, it's a little bit more watchable that way I think. So, it's what I'm doing now and it's uh, Electro well, one, I think, about one thirty maybe. Uh, Going to start on the uh, all the uh, kit. The LM three seventeen is that it? Kit, and I have that uh, all kind of laid out over here, as you can see on the other camera there. I think. Um, uh, what what it is is basically this is the uh, case. This is the power cord. Here's the transformer. This is the wiring they supply. This is the heat sink for the LM317. Uh, so, and there is the little LED voltmeter. And this package is the hardware, nuts, bolts, things like that. Looks like maybe some heat shrink tubing or something there. And this is the components. I see uh, electrolytic capacitors, I see LEDs, I see uh, alligator clip, I see the regulator chip, bolt, or, uh, pots, I see, see about everything I need in there, I hope. <laughs> I haven't actually got it out yet. And last but not least, this is the uh, printed circuit board. You can see there's the uh, oil side. And uh, that looks uh, looks all right. Here's the uh, printed side with the component layout, and that will uh, that will be where we start. The uh, paper supplied with this is minimal, I will say, as far as the kit building goes. You have a schematic uh, circuit board layout. And then basically you install the small components first, then the taller components, and the LM317. And uh, as Carl uh, mentioned, there's not too many instructions on how to put that case together. So, uh, like I said, it is what it is, I guess. Shouldn't be a hard problem. He said it took him about two hours, so... Um, like I said, I want to I get an exact time, because I, I like to know exactly how long it does take me. So, let me check the time real quick. Yep, as I said before, it is 126. So, um, let me uh, get off of here and we'll get on to starting. So, hang in there. Alright, I'm back with you again. I, uh, what I'm going to try to do is keep this camera mm -hmm. rolling throughout the whole thing. I've got to a little bit of a handicap. It's it's right here by the by my arm, and it's going to be a little difficult to get around that. But uh, we'll see what we can do. Um, don't really need these yet. I will be needing these. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and solder these the resistors in and double check them and make sure they're the correct values. I 
Got all these uh, resistors in. I think I want to check the values, make sure I've got the uh, right ones in place. Check it again. Well, now I've got my thing. I can't do that. Oh, I'm pretty sure they're right. So let's put these diodes here in. Let's go ahead and put those over there. I'm gonna lay all the resistors, the leftover resistors, over here. them out of the way. These uh, little lead clips, they need to be saved, I think. I think they'll be used for them later on. Alright, diodes. One in 4007s, I believe, are these. Got the uh, diodes in now. Got those. I got to trim the uh, leads off of them, but other than that, they are pretty much done. Uh, I'm back with you one more time. Uh, this is the finished product. Uh, as you can see, it's point. It's uh, 1.16. You can take it up by turning the the control. There's nine volts. Um, there's twelve volts. Pretty easy. Goes up to thirteen. Up uh, fourteen point five looks like. So that's good. That should work very well. Now all I do is figure out which one of these are the outputs. I think Carl mentioned that was a little bit of a mystery to him too. But it's not a big deal I don't think. Um, just take the uh, multimeter and stick it on there and see what you get. That's the ones that uh, give you an output. I guess it's the one you want. Well as I started to say there before my battery ran dead. Yes, I actually ran my battery dead. Can you believe that? Uh, on the uh, play play touch, uh, it uh, it had recorded an hour and a half earlier, and this time I know it's over that. So uh, probably was uh, getting close to being out of battery. The last video I made. So anywho, what I was doing was letting it run while I was doing all this other stuff. So. Anywho, what I'm what I'm getting at here is the uh, I'm not sure the significance of the LEDs. I haven't seen the green one come on yet. Just just these three here. Uh, if you turn it down, you get uh, less of them, I think. See, I'm down all the way down now. Nothing comes on. Not sure about the yellow one flashing like that. Unless that's a problem. I mean, it's it's giving me the correct, as far as I can tell, it's correct. I mean, it's it's reading, you know, 
and output. So, like I say, I, I see the red one gets dimmer. They all get brighter and, and brighter as it goes, so somebody else maybe chime in here on figuring out why it uh, yellow one flashes like that. The only thing I can figure is a problem, but other than that, I don't know what the problem would be. I just put it together like I was supposed to. I did not adjust the uh, tremor pot. I uh, don't know if I'm supposed to tr adjust that. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Trying to see if there's any heat coming off the... No, not really. Of course, I'm not putting any load on it, so... Alright, I'm going to try to figure out what's, which one's which on the uh, output here and see if I can tell anything from that. So I'll come back with you if I figure out something. Right, I figure it's the two on the end there, one and two there, are the outputs, or at least that's what matches the voltmeter on the board there. So I assume that's the output. Um, like I said, I haven't actually finished up tightening up the uh, all of the... Uh, nuts and bolts here yet so I want to do that then put the uh, case together and see if I can anyway <laughs> uh, I was lucky to get the bottom figured out uh, so that's good anyway like I say I will bring you back if I do and again if anybody can tell me why that's flashing yellow uh, let me know I'm back with you one more time, YouTube. I have got the uh, power supply com completely put together except for one nut. It goes right there. And it fell on the floor. Actually, there were three or four, I can't remember, that fell on the floor. I caught three of them. I got all but one, basically. And uh, I have looked and searched and searched and looked. This. Uh, there's two different sizes of the nuts there, and I've, I've still got one for the other one, for the other size. In fact, I got two I left to them. One of them should go right in there, where this one's at over here. I couldn't get that one in there, so I used one of the other ones. So there would have been an extra one, but I couldn't get to it. So, oh well, not the end of the world. I may have another nut somewhere around here, but. I'd have to look, and I'm too lazy to do that, so. <laughs> okay, at least I'm honest, right? Ah, let's plug it in and see how she works. All right, there's the, that's slow as it goes there. And we'll bring her up here slow. Let's get six volts there, right there, six volts. Now that the yellow is still flashing, I haven't figured that out. The green doesn't come on at all. I thought it would when I got up to a certain length or certain thing, but it didn't. Everything gets brighter, but other than that, that's about it. 14.5 uh, looks like around the top end. So, not figured out exactly what the buzzer does either. Uh, it's not a big deal, but. I just thought, you know, I haven't done the uh, leads yet. I'm going to put the leads on it. I've got to uh, turn on the soldering iron again to do that, so there's no big hurry about it. So anyway, it seems to work pretty good. And uh, I'll have to pick somebody's brain on, on why that yellow flashes. I've watched other videos on these, and it seems like the yellow does flash, but... Uh, I, I thought maybe there's a way to get it not to flash with that uh, trimmer. I haven't actually adjusted the trimmer. Nobody said exactly why it's there or what it's for or anything like that. So I kind of it's working. So kind of avoided that, you know, just until uh, I can figure out something else. So anyway, that's about it. Let me get to the other camera and we'll close this thing up. All right. Well, you've seen the uh, the big power supply project come and go. It's, uh, I'm going to get the uh, time. Oh, it is 8.06. No, I haven't been, <laughs> I haven't been working on this steady since 1.30 when I started. Um, I worked for an hour or so, quit. Worked for another hour or so, quit. By that time I had all the electronics done. 
and it was just a matter of getting the case together and the case has been a kind of a booger um, the way it goes together it's uh, you gotta be kind of a wizard to get those nuts to stay in there and uh, to start a screw into them so been doing that and um, like I said it's just a I, I I only work a little bit on it at a time. I, I had supper, went and did that, and uh, anything else came along. I checked on it. Like I said, I watched a couple of videos on it to see if I could figure out how to do it. Uh, at first I couldn't, and then uh, I watched the video and saw how they did it with the nuts and the screws. And once I did that, I, I figured it out. But still, it, still it wasn't easy. Uh, I know Carl testified to that. Um, but anyway, it is together except for one one nut besides me uh, so I'm going to assume that uh, that's exactly what it'll have to end up being unless I can find another screw or another nut up there I have some small nuts but like I say I, I just don't know if there's any that'll fit uh, I just have to get up there and look and like I say I'm too lazy to do that so I'm going to get off here and relax because, you know, even though this is not a difficult or hard project, it wears you out just sitting here and doing this. And uh, it, it's like a, it's a tension type of a headache as far as uh, what it puts on your body. Uh, it's not so much physical, but it just takes a toll. Anywho, uh, I am going to make those, those, uh, ends or clip leads or what do you call them up and put those on there and uh, that ought to do me so uh, I think I mentioned my my tester went went berserk I, I I did drop it one day but that shouldn't have messed it up I don't think I mean there's nothing really to mess up so and Kylie is in all kinds of trouble at home so she's not coming back for a while, and if she ever comes back. Uh, I told you what she, well, I didn't tell you what she did. But she I told you she had the uh, label maker out that one day, playing around with it. And I told her to quit it. I didn't want to waste my batteries. Well, come find out, she had printed some stuff on there, too. And lo and behold, it got uh, jammed up in there. And... Uh, it wouldn't print when I first started to print with it, so I had to take it apart and get that unjammed. And uh, like I said, I know it was her because of what was on the tape I saw. So <laughs> I was going to have it out with her about that, but I guess I don't have to now because she's not coming back. So uh, don't know what I'll do about the Buick. Uh, Lexi's working all the time, so she's not going to be available to do anything. I guess we'll just kind of let it go. For a while for a while and see what happens with Kylie um, Kylie has problems she uh, I thought she was doing better but apparently not so you know you just they're not even going back to school they were supposed to go Tuesday they're not even going Tuesday so that's uh, probably not gonna be the end of the world there but and uh, she may not even go back to that school next year uh, my daughter said so it just depends on a lot to what happens during the summer, I guess. And so I'm not going to worry about that. And um, can't nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I'm not the parent. So anyway, like I say, I was just glad to have some time with them when I did. So you guys have a pleasant evening. And thank you, thank you so much for watching this. And I will see you.